Our pace of living leaves us little time for leisure. Our program will give you a chance to experience the fascinating world of traveling, extreme adventures, hunting and fishing. Each week we will take you to the most beautiful places of Kazakhstan. I can't imagine my life without traveling in the open country. Unexplored places attract me like a magnet and catch my imagination. I can't live without hunting and fishing. This hobby is like a disease that aggravates with the end of the season. However, I found the way to deal with that. I travel to favorite places together with park rangers, bait wild animals, monitor and photo hunt with camera and trail cameras. Me and my friends decided to leave for a city break to a place located 15 kilometers from Palmati. Few people know that it is possible to find wild nature close to the city. We left early in the morning to get to Kaskeren Gorge. The road did not take long and we got to the place in half hour. At the approaches to the gorge we met three camels which are rare to be seen in the southern capital. We watched the animals for some time and then continued our trip. After a little while, we parked our cars near the local ranger's house. Welcoming host was waiting for us. We brought several sacks with corn and salt to mix with the diet of wild boars, roe deers and Siberian red deers. Artificial baiting influences wild game concentration and wildlife protection is quantity. Our group took the horses and decided to go and check the trial cameras, which were put in place earlier. We would have to ride 10 kilometers. Our way in the mountains was not easy. In spite of spring weather, snow cover reached almost 50 centimeters. The snow was not a problem for our friends on snowmobile, but it was a problem for us and our horses. The horses sunk into the snow and we decided to dismount from the horses and walk. We got on the ridge and it became easier to walk. High snow cover has got replaced by thaw holes. We heard the voice of Roebuck somewhere from the birch wood. Looks like the host of the place was not happy with our visit. We tried to distinguish the buck in between birches, but have not succeeded. We left some baiting and went up.
our familiar ranger joined us soon. He rode on snowmobile and brought video footage from the trail cameras. Our trail cameras stayed in difficult for access mountainous area for more than one month. Knowing that Zailiski Alatau mountains are rich with wildlife, I was really curious to see the footage. You could expect to see anything. First several shots were not interesting. Curious magpies and crows gathered and tried baiting. Wild mountain boar visited feed box during the night. Without paying attention to the camera, the boar joined the feast. Wild boar is a pantagraphous mammal. Differs from swine by shorter and heavily built body. Boar's head is longer and thinner, ears upright pointing, longer and sparey, the animal is sharp fanged. Length of body may reach 175 cm. Weight of mature animal is about 200 kg. Huge fangs. Good boar, big one. I saw 10 very big boars around 300 kilograms. On the next shot we saw a very interesting animal listed in the Red Book and subject to protection. A rock marten passed several times before the trail camera. Next, the Siberian red deers came to the feed box. The Siberian red deers did not dwell on this territory before. They lived higher in the mountains, close to Talgar city. The Siberian red deer is one of the subspecies of the reindeer. The reindeer itself has a lot of subspecies and its representatives differ by size, weight, color and some other characteristics from each other. Caucasian deer, European deer, Siberian red deer, Bolharan deer, Far Eastern red deer are all the subspecies of reindeer. The horns of the reindeer are with many antlers, not less than five, which form specific crown on the top of the horn. There are 15 subspecies of the reindeer in total. The ones we saw on the video from the trail camera were young representatives of this species. The next visitor of the feed box has surprised us a lot. Somehow one of the brown bears did not sleep this winter. After watching the footage, the park ranger decided to show another representative of the wildlife. He took the binoculars and started to examine the adjacent slope. Soon he pointed out on several roebucks grazing on the slope. One of them had very beautiful, good for the trophy horns. Optics of our camera did not allow us to take a good quality picture. Range measuring device showed 255 meters distance to one of the row bucks and more than 800 meters distance to another couple of animals. Using the binocular as long distance lens, we took a picture of these animals. She kept with Juvenile. Juvenile is around two years old. Came and left the corn for boars. I saw the fresh traces. Came closer to see and saw the leopards. They laid on a distance of 30 meters from the place. Sergei told us that he has been working in the national park for 30 years. He is responsible for animals protection.
Big concentration of the animals is related to the prohibition of the hunting on the territory of the park, which was introduced several years ago. Apart from that, Sergei is also responsible for quantity monitoring of predators of his territory. He is well known as the best wolf hunter. He has destroyed almost 300 wolves. Mature wolf, two and a half years, came out here, started following me. I was without a weapon and looked like the wolf felt it. He came closer to me at a distance of 40 meters. I got on the horse, but the wolf continued following me. I rode to the forest to have an opportunity to hide on a tree. Another Sergei's achievement is trouts in the river. This kind of fish was not dwelling here before. One day Sergei went fishing on Kursai Lake. All the fish he caught there was taken to the Kaskilian Gorge and released into the small artificial lake. People who fish for trouts will understand me well. This is viral. You always want to go fishing. The distance to the Kolsai Lake is 400 kilometers, even more. I started to think how to bring the fish here. I went to the lake, caught hatchlings and brought them during winter. This fish grew to 4 kilograms in 4 years. Then someone took a picture of himself with the fish and downloaded it to the internet. People started to go fishing here and I was taking away their fishing rods. That was a scandal. We returned to the snowmobile and went up to the place with a stunning view. The herd of ibexes was grazing on the adjacent slope. Male ibexes started mating games. Who would imagine that we would be able to film so many ibexes close to the southern capital of Kazakhstan? Today, not only Sergei is proud of his work. The visitors of the National Park show respect to his job. We went down in the afternoon. Several hours spent outdoors were good for our health and added to a peace of mind. We spent a great weekend and plan to come back here and bring some presents for our four-legged friends in the nearest future.